Hi everyone and welcome to this video as normal. In this video I wanted to show you version 4 of the system. All three boards being version 4, however I can't do it. The reason why I can't do it is because I've, or somebody's made a mistake somewhere along the lines and uh, I'll show you where. So those of you who've been watching my series on uh, solar will know that I've created three boards. Now these boards are produced for me by JLC PCB and they're very very good quality. However, two of the boards have a fault and I don't know whose fault that is, uh, but there's a fault. There's no bottom layer, which is a shame because other than that they're, they're great. So yeah, I can't use those two boards. So, you know, I've had to use version 3. Anyway, this board here, the main controller board, I can use because there is a bottom layer. So, what I've done is I've soldered up the basics um, over here. So that's version 4, and these two boards, Modbus and Control, are version 3 boards. So, what I want to do in this video is just show you the, um, the current incarnation, if you like, of my solar panel uh, AI system. Right, and also one or two little mistakes and things that I need to improve on as well. Um, the first thing I need to improve on or redesign is, you see the yeah, um, AMS 117? The pad isn't quite perfect for it. It needs a bit of an adjustment. It's only a minor thing, but it needs a bit of an adjustment. So I haven't actually wired up the LEDs and all that sort of stuff because I wanted to do a minimum, um, a minimum what would you call it? test maybe so everything else there seems to be okay now I've made another silly mistake really here so if I put the board in place like so all looks good right now if I put the other board in place look what happens Oops. You have to kind of jam it in place, which is not ideal, but that's my fault. Okay, so I made a few mistakes. However, it should still be functional. Now I've got one of these that works now, hopefully, it's a new one. I've got my LCD uh, wired up, I hope. Everything else wired up. As you may notice, I've changed the way I've done this. I've got these uh, little rails, and I plug these into them instead. They're better than the ribbon cable, whatever that is. Because the ribbon cable, there you go, is a bit of a sample. It looks good, it looks tidy, and it looks easy. But because it's multi-core stranded, it doesn't go into the holes that well. It flaps about and bends when you try to solder it, solder it in, so it's a pain. So I've opted to just do it the, the normal way, uh, which is with, with the... Um, these little header things. Okay, so everything's set up. I've rested the LCD display on these wires, which looks like it might not be the best of ideas. But let's see, let's plug it in and see what happens. So it actually needs a few seconds to, uh, to sort itself out. It's going to uh, prepare itself, then it's going to try and connect to the router, then it's going to try and get the date and the time, and do any other bits and pieces which it feels it needs to do. So now I'm going to go through these menus and just see what we have. So solar and charge. At the moment everything's going to be zero because this Modbus um, communication device isn't connected. Um, nevertheless, right, so we've got drain, battery, light. Same, the light sensor's not connected either. So AI, let's try and turn this off. So AI, off. So now we should, we should be able to override this. So let's go source none. So then one of these transistors down here should have um, changed over because the transistors power the contactors. Now the inverter we want to switch it off and now the relay should click. Yeah you heard it click. Let's turn it back on. Should click again. Yep. So that's working fine. Turn it back off again. I'm going to go back to those menus in a minute and test with the um, with the ohmmeter. But for now 
connections so it says router connected yes server connected no but that's okay because the server is not uh, the service isn't running at the moment date and time it gets this every time it connects and I believe that's correct yep IP address that's the IP address and we're back to this so what I want to test is I want to test the resistance between two parts and um, just put the menu out of the way for the time being. So I said that I'd show you this app that I've written. Look at the state of my screen. Anyway, so set, turn it on, and I get some gibberish here. Now it's not gibberish, it's actually code that I get this to transmit to this, to any clients, um, in order to fill the details with actual real data. Anyway, um, so I can't get any data because it's not connected to Modbus or the charge controller. But what I can do is fiddle around with the AI. So I'll turn AI off and you hear you heard the, chir the uh, chirps. So now I can take control over the other thing. So I'll turn the inverter off and you heard the chirp. Now I'm going to change the contactors from solar to non. And that also worked.